Good Friday morning. We're heading out the door. There's beautiful blue skies overhead, but there's one thing we want to make sure you're aware of. There is an elevated risk of fire weather for today, and it's mainly because we have been so dry lately. The ground is very dry. The air is also very dry with some very low humidity levels, and we were looking to see some very gusty winds for today. So brush fires, if they were to ignite, they could spread very easily. Right now, many of us are already crossing well into the 50s, with the exception of Keene and Orange still in the mid 40s right now. But Boston sitting at 60 degrees already at this point. And then there's a look at our dew points, which measures just how much moisture we're seeing in the air. Boston right now at 46 degree dew point, and that indicates that there's a very dry air mass in place for our region. In addition, we have a cold front pushing through. This is why we're going to see a bit of a breeze this afternoon, and it's also why the wind direction is going to shift to the northwest. And with that, it will become gusty at times. So here's a look at our wind speed over the next 12 hours and you'll see the occasional wind speed up to about 15 miles per hour this afternoon before starting to die down for tonight. Keep in mind we could see wind gusts up to 20 to even 25 miles per hour. Temperatures today not quite as warm as yesterday. We saw a lot of mid 70s out there today, mostly the upper 60s to just about 70 degrees, which of course is still very warm for this time of year. Average high temperature just about 61 Boston sitting at 68 this afternoon and Worcester at 64. Tonight is mild as well. Last night we saw a lot of upper 50s. Tonight we're sitting in the lower 50s, which is still relatively mild. Keep in mind we're expecting some very light winds in the area overnight, so the wind will start to calm down as temperatures sit in the lower 50s. And it's a good thing the wind is going to calm down because we do have the head of the Charles kicking off for tomorrow. With that, we have warmer air pushing in from the west, high pressure settling back in as a warm front eventually pushes to our north, bringing a southwest wind back into the region for this weekend. Behind this, there's a cold front, and that's what's moving in for Tuesday right on into Thursday of next week, bringing our next chance of showers, which is so needed in our area. The latest drought monitor released yesterday, and at this point, we are now seeing a moderate drought for 32% of the state of Massachusetts and much of the area looking very dry still. So this is the latest update, and it's a big indicator of the fact that rain is desperately needed at this point. Seven day forecast includes that sunshine and plays right on through the week weekend. I mentioned the head of the Charles. Well, here's a look at the forecast temperatures mid 60s the lower 70s. The sunny skies stick around and the warmer day looking to be Sunday, although both days are looking pretty warm. We have the showers moving in for Tuesday with that pushing through. We have that cold front that's going to cross by, so could see some heavier rain at times, but more so what we're watching is that cool down that's going to push in. We drop from the 70s down into the 50s by Thursday. For WCVB, I'm meteorologist Kellyanne Chickalese.